Remember, 50% of the people over 40 in here have leaky gut syndrome. And if you have leaky gut syndrome, in time, leaky gut syndrome means your intestinal tract has a hole in it and it's leaking the internal fluid of the out. Remember, this is a tube outside the body that lives in the body and it's leaking fluid from the tube that's outside the body in the body. Now your immune system is really having a problem. And it'll take about two or three or four years and you'll wind up getting a secondary disease cancers, all these weird things because your immune system's whooped. It's getting pooped on every day and it's trying to fight this internal bacteria. I've known uh, lots of people that wear a colostomy bag now. Why? Because they got black mold and, and the intestinal tract gets a hole in it and the feces goes inside and you get sick and you go to the hospital and if you don't you die. You get septicemia and you beep, beep, see ya. And as soon as you go to the hospital, what they do is they take this knife out, whoa, cut you open, and cut this thing, and, stitch out, and they put a bag on you. Why? Because if not, you're going to die. You're leaking septicemia. You're leaking this toxic material inside your body. And a lot of times, it's just small little leaks, tiny little leaks. And the little bit of leaks over about a period of a year or two uh, cause your immune system to get weak. And you can see what promotes black mold. Get the glasses off. One thing does. Two, make sure you Dry people are the ones that get black mold. Ones that drink, this is what, this 21 day terrain modification is very simple. It means you quit drinking the fluids that you're drinking. You only have four fluids. One kombucha, two hibiscus water with chia seeds, three blue green algae. You grow it yourself so it's purple and blue. And then you drink lemon, like the, like the master cleanse. Lemon, cayenne, and water. Those are your four fluids. I want you to drink four of these a day of whatever you want to drink. You can drink all blue green, blue green algae, I could care less. You're going to hydrate yourself and you're going to really, really change your fluid profile. Then what you do is you take one meal a day if you're beginning. Let's say you're 100 pounds overweight. You can't change quickly because you're going to find out you're going to get sick quickly. So you change one meal a day, the evening meal. You switch a few things around. You just changed one third of your life right now. You just cleaned it up pretty good. I used to do this as a doctor. You'd come into my office and basically I can't teach you anything because I don't have time. I got 10 patients waiting for me. I don't have time. So what I put you on is this was 15 years ago. I put you on Slim Fast because you were eating. You, you were eating McDonald's. It didn't matter anyways. You had Taco Bell for lunch and you had whatever you had for dinner. So what I did was I put you on Slim Fast two times a day. If you absolutely had, you had it three times and you had a microwave healthy choice meal at night. Okay, and people lost 10 pounds a month and they thought I was some genius. <laughs> now this was a long time ago because we were really unconscious back then. I used to eat a lot of those microwave dinners too, all in the, uh, the plastic and you put them in the microwave and, and you know, and you overdo the plastic and it melts and it bends <laughs> and you taste it and it tastes like sort of like plastic. Well, what do you think? Uh, let's keep going there so quick. Uh, I know we're running out of time, but look at the look at the stuff that will come out of you on this. This is not a killing cleanse. This is a cleanse that will give you nutrification and will give you this called terrain modification. And, and, and when you terrain modify, things fall out of you without killing them. You dislodge them versus me trying to punch this dude out and he's going to have to do what? Fight me back because it's common nature. You can put your hand up to anybody and you know that. Don't even say anything to them. Nine people out of ten will push back just because that's just what things do. They try to harmonize and equalize the balance. You push, I'm going to push back too. You're pushing me off balance, man. i got to push back just to get myself on balance. I don't mean bad. You're just pushing me off balance. So let's go to the next one there. Uh, fish tapeworm grows a foot a year. You had a piece of fish, you got it. And then uh, it's... Uh, We've, we've got some really good movies that you can see. I, I, this is the second time we've been here. I'm going to have to really, so there's a lot of movies I usually show because it really gets you. Let me show you the live fish tapeworm. Oh, are you hungry? Wait until you see this thing swimming through the intestinal tract to, to feed because you're going to feed. And it's right there waiting. Come on, feed me. And not only that, this thing is smart just like he was saying. These parasites are smart. They're going to make you swallow big chunks of food because they don't eat saliva. In the book of the Essenes, you ever heard of that? A couple thousand uh, years. It says right in the book. It's pretty genius. I don't care if you're eating meat. I don't care what you're eating. You're a liquidarian. Didn't really explain it this way, but this is what I got out of it. And if you're going to eat a piece of meat, then you don't chew anything, swallow any pieces, because if you do, you're feeding them. 
You swallow the juice only. You break everything down and you make these glands signaturize the food so when it goes down into the cold fusion nuclear reactor down here to break down into food, that it's already been pre-processed and signaturized so your body looks at it as food instead of says, whoa, what's this stuff? And it mostly kills every good bacteria that's in there because it doesn't know. It's like putting a, uh, taking a, 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 an email and you run it through your virus scan. Do you think your body's smart? Do you think you put anything in it? runs it through like a virus scan. And if it doesn't cohabitate with the system, it kills it right away. Okay, let's go to the next one there. Uh, and this cool life cycle, the Ascaris lumbricoides, everybody in this room has it right now. You can't believe it. I know you can't, but it's true. Okay? Uh, they grow about, they, they're, they look like round worms, look like little earthworms. Uh, you can see that the head, they're hermaphrodites too. They don't, they don't need a boyfriend or a girlfriend because they're actually got it both. They make their own children as needed. They don't need a guy or a girl because they're both. Let's go to the next one there. Next one there too. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's, it's, this is why they call it a disease. So a lot of people think that, you know, like cancer or lymphoma or depression, well, obesity is a disease too, because it just means you're toxic. That's the disease. It doesn't mean you're lazy. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you have toxicity in your lymph system. Look, you open this guy's lymph system, what do you think happens? Let me get a pin. It just falls apart. All junk falls out and it gets healthy. The next one there. Uh, we know the demineralization basically, I mean, this is the big problem. Our NPK fertilizers, there's nothing there. Do I have five minutes to close this up more? Or I'm, I mean, I can go as long as everybody wants. No matter yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Exercise is really important. This is me doing this thing called the scorpion in Hawaii. I couldn't do any of this stuff before. So I really, really have totally transformed my whole physiology, couldn't even touch my toes for three years. I can do the splits now. Okay, I can really bend it, you know, and, and really because of, of the food intake and the fluid intake that I've really done. Remember the first time I stepped on you, Brian? Remember? Really? Okay, because this guy's Mr. Philosopher down here and he wasn't really working on the physical body too much. And in the beginning, I was Mr. Physical and I wasn't working on this thing. You know, I'm basically uh, everybody's, you know, sort of switching, uh, switching. And, and uh, let's go to the next one there. Uh, here, let me just buzz this through again real quick. Okay. Uh, these are simple solutions really quick here. Uh, this one we'll go into. This is a special ring that I use that I show. I'm doing it just next week. I'm going to do this. Uh, it's the same with the magnets on the blender, but you put this around your head. It's a Merlin. The magnetic energy ring, linear infusion neutralizer. What it does is it moves fluid in your brain that's really stuck. You put this this device on that you make yourself. You go to Home Depot, you buy the tape, and you put on neodymium magnets about every three inches around your head, one positive this way, one negative, one positive, one negative, because it goes in breath, out breath, and you put it on. And what it does is it softens all that crud and sludge up in your brain. Massive change. You put it on, you go, whoa, you feel like you're, like you're floating in space. If you close your eyes, you have to sort of gain your position. I used to close my eyes and see if I could walk across the room and see if I could keep my balance. That's how weird it was. Because I, I couldn't, couldn't uh, you know, connect with it too well. So let's see, let's keep on going there. Okay, so we already went over that. Uh, you want to go ahead and, now the truth, real simple. Google high fructose corn syrup and mercury poisoning. What are you going to eat now? Mercury poisoning keeps your consciousness down. Remember, this is either ignorance or it's on purpose. It's up to you to figure it out. I know what it is. It's not ignorance. They don't, these things don't, mercury doesn't land itself in your mouth because of stupidity. You think the ones that run the system here are dumb? Okay, very smart. GMO rat sterility pictures and study. You saw that one, you go, whoa, I can't eat any GMO. I can't have any high fructose corn syrup. 75% of the things in the store have high fructose corn syrup in it. GMO, 75% of the things in the store, GMO. What am I gonna eat? And it's more than 75. Aspartamine, false sugar, sickness, cancer, poison. Just Google that. Cool, no more false sugars, no more sucralose, and it's, Basically because it's not that it's bad for you. I can't say that because I'll get in trouble. 
It doesn't fit into the naturalistic system that we're all trying to become. No chemicals, no synthetics, no hormones, no antibiotics, none of these things. If it doesn't fit into the naturalistic lifestyle, then kick it out of your life. Let's say you're smoking cigarettes. Okay, great. You want to get one toxicity out? This is hemp line dipped in, in, uh, in beeswax. Okay, so what you do is, let's say you're smoking, let's just say the typical brand. I won't say the name because I get in trouble again. <laughs> but one of the most famous cigarettes on the market that you see everybody smoking, dude's got a cowboy hat on, don't say who it is, you already know. <laughs> It's got over 4,000 chemicals, burn accelerators, additives, and all that stuff in it. You're not smoking tobacco, you're smoking chemicals, you're smoking toxicity. Actually, nicotinic acid is very good for your brain. When you, when you eat niacin, niacin, it goes into your body. When you smoke nicotine, it goes into your head. So it actually is very good for you in small amounts, but it has to be pure tobacco with no insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. Now, if you're gonna smoke, then what you do is switch over those non-organic, full of pesticides and all that stuff, to at least, and the only one I know of, is American Spirit. It's the, uh, so if people want to smoke, at least to get, switch, remember you're switching your lifestyle over from suboptimal to more optimal. Even though smoking may not be optimal, it's a heck of a lot better than 4,000 chemicals. And to get rid of this chemical, you're sucking up a lighter. That's benzene. You want to get sick? Go ahead, guys. It's not the tobacco. It's not the cannabis. It's not any of that stuff. It's the lighter. It's the processing that basically most people smoking out of pipes and stupid. Look at the cigarette papers. They're full of bleach. Even the names on the side that they put the name on there, it's lead. Google lead and lipstick for all the girls. Does anybody know that? Does everybody know that almost all lipsticks have lead in it? And by the time you're 40 or 50 years old, if you've been using it since you were like 15, 16, 17, you've swallowed three gallons of it. Okay? Uh, chlorine poisoning, glufosinate poisoning. I'm sure no one really understands what glufosinate poisoning is. Okay, because it's very hidden. Uh, if you look up glufosinate poisoning, you'll see that glufosinate is an herbicide, and this herbicide is spliced with wheat, corn, and soy. That's why I say I don't eat any wheat, corn, and soy because I don't feel like suffering for three days. I've <laughs> terrain modified my gut wall, and I used to be able to eat wheat, corn, and soy, but if I do now, since it's got such a, this glufosinate in it, it's an herbicide. So here's what it is. You got the plant, you splice it, you put in this herbicide, and now the plant grows, and the herbicide grows in the plant, so you don't have to, so the farmer doesn't have to put on pesticides, right? Then you eat the corn, let's say, or the wheat, or the soy, and when you do, it goes down in your system. Remember, then these things don't stop doing the genetic modifications. They genetically modify and keep on going. So you swallow it, they have a mating situation with your gut wall bacteria, and now your gut wall bacteria are secreting glufosinate. There's lots of studies on this. It's not me making this up. So if this was the truth, then you'd say, wait a minute, what am I gonna eat? Look, no high fructose corn syrup, she's no GMO, I'm doing with spartamine, false sugars, yeah, MSGs and bloody well everything. Look that up, MSG side effects and hen names. Look at them all, 50 of them. 